Hey my loves, this is Raven from Raven's Reviews and this week we are bringing you the Halloween Spotlight Challenge Week 4, Glow in the Dark Haunted House. <sighs> as soon as I heard this theme I was just tickled pink and I'm so excited to spotlight these babes. So first up is the lovely Suzanne. She goes by Girly Nails 66 on both Instagram and YouTube. Now, this beautiful queen, she hails from the land, my land, Canada. <laughs> I was just so excited to be able to spotlight her because I really found a lot of her page extremely unique. Like you see a lot of nail babes doing a lot of work with shellacs and other things, but personally, I don't see a lot of nail lacquer looks. And also she's working on her natural nails. So seeing all these gorgeous looks done with nail lacquer, I was just melting. She is also an affiliate and ambassador for many companies, including uh, Born Pretty. Uh, sorry, I just froze there because I didn't want to not do it justice. So and if I say any of these wrong, I'm sorry. Maniology, Born Pretty, Everly Nails, The Nail Prop Shop, Nail Creations, she Modern, Nailstuff.ca, The Nail Junkie, and Nail Candy. So I wanted to make sure if you guys go into my description down below, you can get all of her links for her Instagram and YouTube. And on her Instagram, she provides her link tree where you can get all of those so you don't miss out on any savings or support in our queen. Oh my goodness. So seeing this, I literally fell into nail heaven. She is so kind, she can bake up a storm. Like this woman makes fresh bread, okay? Like she's just so talented in so many different ways and her artistry always comes through in every set. So please, please go give this spotlight babe all of the love and please make sure you go over and follow, subscribe, hit that bell, make sure you don't miss any of her gorgeous content. And she's almost at 3K y'all, so let's make this dream come true. Also, at the end of all of her videos, she shows Daisy, Pedro, Pebbles, and Pippa. Her puppies are so sweet. So please, please go check her out. And our next spotlight babe is Rochelle. Oh, oh my gosh. I am so excited. Like this queen, she slays. No matter if she's doing shorties or long, like she kills, she kills it. Now, just going up there, and I love saying kill it with the spooky season because she's out here slaying. I wanted to quickly go past some of the looks that you guys have already seen with the Halloween Spotlight Challenge and go into some of her acrylic magic. Her sets, literally, they just, they take my breath away. And her color choices, everything is just on point. Please make sure you go over and follow both her Instagram and YouTube. She posts all sorts of different giveaways, reviews. Uh, she does, her acrylic application is like melted to the gods. Like it is so perfect. And do you see this glow in the dark? Hello, how you doing? <laughs> oh, just, it's been such a pleasure getting to know each one of these beautiful queens. But like, Rochelle is amazing. She is just a queen. So please, please, please rush over. You do not want to miss out on her artistry on any of these gorgeous posts. So please go and follow her. And as you guys can see, look at this. The dimension, the detail, everything she selects and does is so stunning. Like the marble of those pinks, are you kidding me? I just, everything is so dreamy. And look at this smile. You can just tell, like, a smile that lights the world up. So please do not sleep on my girl. Go and go follow her. Oh, look at those nails. Don't forget, that's Rochelle's Nail Glam. That's both on YouTube and Instagram. Please, please go check her out. You will not regret it. So picture this. It's Saturday afternoon, and you want to do a fresh new set, but you have no clue what to do. Look no further, because she'll hook you up with some amazing nail inspiration. Look at these almond nails. 
so dreamy and y'all know stiletto and almond is my favorite but these got me straight weak so many of you have been supporting this since the beginning week one of the halloween spotlight challenge but even if you're new and this is your very first video please make sure you go into the description box below and make sure that you're following all of the spotlight artists instagram and youtube and that you have all of their bells on so you don't miss any of the content that's coming forward because we still got three weeks y'all <laughs> like we're not we're, we ain't done we just we just warming up so i didn't talk about it but i make sure that i showcase each color um before i use them just so you guys know what i am using um so that's all I wanted to say for that. But as for going over to our spotlight babes, now please, if anybody that's watching this video that's gonna go over to one of the Queen's pages, please say that Raven sent y'all. We wanna see all the love and interaction happening. And I am just, every week I'm blown away, not only by all of your beautiful comments, but by this community. I hope y'all know how beautiful you guys are. So I got really excited doing the spotlight babes that I failed to mention. The theme was chosen by these beautiful queens. So you do have to go over and check out their videos because I, I don't even know what kind of genius is about to come out. Cause you know, like when you choose a theme, I know you're already thinking about the magic. So when Lisa and I had chose American Horror Story, I was already going through the seasons in my mind, right? So I cannot wait to see everybody's glow in the dark looks. I know they're gonna be so like out of this world. So to kind of let y'all in on my vision, I know that this may be looking a little crazy right now. I <laughs> Actually, do you know what I see? I totally see the Rick and Morty like vortex, that green, like slimy vortex. That is totally what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> but what I'm creating is this gorgeous, almost like green glow that is going to emit from the haunted house. So that is what I'm creating right now. So my nail fam, how are you guys doing today? How has your week been? I hope your week's been good. So by the point of this premiering on Saturday, I would have already had a live with Mama on uh, the Friday night. And then after this premieres, we're gonna be having another live. So in that second live on the Saturday, we are so excited. We both got red iguanas, yo! So we're gonna be showcasing those. And as well, I'm gonna be doing a new video for Your Nail Lab in a Box. So please stay tuned for that. That's gonna be coming out this week. And I'm gonna be able to showcase my red iguana practice finger that was gifted to me by the lovely Nailed by Envy. So I've literally, uh, I, I feel like I've struggled with chronic pain for so long and it's almost like I stopped my own blessings to a certain extent because I just kept limiting myself by saying like, I can't do this or I'm too shaky to do this or, or I can't do YouTube. Like I just kept limiting, limiting myself. And when I dived headfirst into this community, I did not think I was going to be met with the love and support that I have been met with, let alone now these connections I'm making, amazing queens that I call my sisters, you know, all of these amazing opportunities have been ha happening and I couldn't have did it without you. So I just like, this is Raven giving you the hugest internet hug ever. I love y'all so stinking much. Oh. So it wouldn't be a Raven's original <laughs> without a story time. So I can't resist. Are y'all ready? get your popcorn? Did you get your drinks? Let's get into the spooky story. Our story begins some years ago. Now, as soon as I heard about this theme, I knew I wanted to speak about my haunted house experience, and I, I, I could not resist. 
So the the story involves me and my aunt. She invo- like she invited me to this gorgeous trip to Niagara Falls. I was so excited and a part of the package that we got on Groupon was there was different haunted house attractions. So I I asked her immediately. I'm like I've never been to one. You know me, I love all things like spooky and like horror movies and all of that magic. So like please 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 can we go? And she's like girl is you crazy i wouldn't be caught dead in one of those and i was like please please can we can we please go so she's like okay fine we arrive to the haunted attraction and um so these how they do them is they build like different scenes different rooms etc and then they have scare actors that walk through it so it's as if you're going through like a haunted attraction but it's not actually a haunted house if that makes sense um Yeah, the black in me won't let me go to one of those for real. (laughs) But basically, I was walking through and literally we we walk through the first door, which when you walk through the first door, immediately the door slams behind you and you see like bright glowing exit, like, like the words or the letters to exit. And the moment that happened, my aunt, she's like, she started cussing she screamed and she grabbed the door handle to see if she could open it and it opened she's like girl i'm out i'm like don't leave me she's like i am out so she leaves i'm left standing there at the beginning of the track attraction like um do i leave with her and then i was like no i have wanted to do one of these for so long and with my mass amount of hours of television watching and movies of all of these horror stories I will survive. (laughs) So I start walking through and it's like there's the creepiest wallpaper and you can hear like they did not cheap out on anything. The loudspeaker had this creepy deepy music going on. The lights were like flickering all weird. And so I'm walking and I think what increased my anxiety is every time I would leave, um, like I'd go through a door, it would say exit but then you'd go to another place. So it felt like it was like a room within a room within a room. And it kind of makes you nervous. Like you're wondering, will any of these exit doors actually lead out? So it kind of builds up that anxiety, you know? And I'm like, okay, great. Now I'm living in my own horror movie. Maybe I shouldn't have did this. (laughs) So I'm walking and I'm looking back and forth because I know there's going to be scare actors. So I'm really nervous. And all of a sudden I hear this like giggling almost. And I turn around. And oh God, in like a Jason mask, this guy just starts tilting his head gently to one side till his head hits his shoulder and he's just staring at me. And I was like, not today, Satan. I was like, keep your distance. And uh, I literally, I'm saying this out loud. I was like, not today, not today. And so I continue walking and I turn, I'm like, you still following me? And he did the tilt his head to the next side. I'm like, no, 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 no. (laughs) Maybe I should have left with my aunt. (laughs) so as I continue to walk all of a sudden these like headlights are turned on me like a big truck and I hear like the revving of an engine so I look to like my right shoulder and it's a chain link fence and there's like a huge pickup truck with like chains and it's like revving and the lights are on I was like oh god they they really didn't miss any expense here like oh no 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 I said sir stay in your car (laughs) so I'm still going and I swear I think my comedy relief was the only thing to stop my heart beating literally out of my chest because it's one thing to be with a group of friends going through one of these attractions but i was literally by myself there was no other people walking around in the attraction like that no me and the scare actors that was it (laughs) so i keep walking and again we're going through one one door after another door and there's all these creepy like I'm pretty sure there's even a scene with like a bathtub and this like really creepy hair it was just too much so finally I get through like what seemed like 17 doors exits I get I finally walk through and I see my aunt and one of the workers smiling at me and I look over and then there's a whole family there they're all smiling and I was like uh what's going on and they're like oh they put you on the loudspeaker so we could hear all of your reactions and you were cussing your aunt stink. And I was like, oh, oh, oh God, I hope you all enjoyed the show. <laughs> so that was actually the story of my very first haunted attraction experience. 
and uh, <laughs> I'm definitely glad I did it. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know. Uh, depending on where in the world you are watching this, um, I don't know if you guys have anything similar. But at our Canada's Wonderland, they have like horror or scream nights where they actually have like corn mazes and all sorts of different um, areas that they've done up and they have their scare actors come through and it's actually a lot of fun. I've also went to, a, to that before. So I'm, I'm a big Halloween junkie, if you will. Uh, I wasn't able to celebrate Halloween until later on in life. So now that I am able to celebrate, I have just been busting loose. <laughs> so I haven't said one word about these nails besides the glow theme thing. So right now I'm just working on, this is a gorgeous, like I'm working on the grass, but I already did the silhouette of a tree. And in the other pink set, I did like a hand and two um, cemetery uh, tombstones. I really wanted to give this creepy feel of this like haunted mansion. So thank you, thank you, and watch me work as I work the magic. sure to provide all of the pictures that I gained inspiration from and that I took as reference photos so that I could do justice to um, the tree, the cemetery, and now the haunted house. Uh, something that I do, I don't know if, if other people do it, but it, I kind of do like a dry sketch, if that makes sense, because I know the magic of rubbing alcohol and I like to do my nails in steps so that if I do mess up I can wipe it away and so I'm sorry if some of this looks a little messy at first but trust the process because your girl is sketching out and, and she's getting ready um, and I don't mean sketching I mean like, like sketching drawing <laughs> uh, your girl is sketching and bringing out her inner artist so just please enjoy the process So speaking of haunted houses, have you guys seen The Haunting of Bly Manor or The Haunting of Hill House? Oh, because doing this set just had bent neck lady up in my mind. So please in the comments below, let me know if you've seen either of those series. <laughs> oh my goodness. So going in with my trusty McCart Black, I am absolutely obsessed with that. Um, I'm just filling in the rest of the haunted house silhouette. So for all your McCart needs, 
Feel free to use code Ravens Nail Bar at checkout for 15% off y'all. And if there's any sales going, you get that additionally. So it's always exciting. And also it's a way to support me. So I really appreciate everybody that's been using my code. I've been seeing those re referral orders coming through. I see you boo boo and I love it. Thank you for the support. It means the world to me. Plus, y'all receive 15% off, so it's like a win-win. <laughs> a queen support and queen situation. Oh, now seeing this haunted house come together, uh, my heart was just so happy. <laughs> so going in with my trusty Jenny one, I'm just going to go in and do those window panes, y'all. Now, a fun uh, behind the scenes moment. I first tried to paint the door red and I didn't like the way it looked. So I thought, galaxy stick time, I'ma use Theta and I'ma make that door gold and gorgeous. Honestly, these galaxy sticks, they are so like, I can't describe how beneficial they are to have in your, um, what would you say, in your roster? <laughs> it's just I, I use them so often and they come in handy. So if you can, get yourself some galaxy sticks. I will make sure that all the products are listed in the link down below as well. I just appreciate you guys sticking around. Like, uh, I know sometimes my videos can be a little longer because I'm doing hand painted looks that sometimes are, um, depending on the intricacy, it could take a little longer with the filming. And y'all, I have butchered like the chop shop. I've cut things that aren't important. And sometimes we're still working with a long video. So the fact that every week you guys are coming, supporting me, like in the last 28 days, there's been 65 hours of my videos watched. Like this Halloween season, spooky season, y'all have come through for me more subscribers more views so like the support has just been everything so thank y'all thank you so much while filming this voiceover i swear i can even hear my heartbeat in my ears because i'm so excited i just want to see the glow and i wanted to let you guys know uh, I do top coat this, but I felt like it wasn't complete. So off camera, I put a little hand painted ghosty and I used a foil for uh, a little skull with a bow. So that isn't included in here, but I did do that just to kind of finish the look off because I felt like there was something missing. So after you guys watch me apply this gorgeous glossy top coat from Kiara Sky, we are going to get to the glow in the dark reveal. And my nail fam, please, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Please, I want to welcome you to the family. <laughs> 
oh, this Halloween spotlight challenge has been everything for me. Like I have been able to step out of my comfort zone. I have learned so much about the editing process and just, just, I've learned so much in general. So thank you guys for making this possible. And thank you, sweet tea, for bringing me onto this and for creating this. Mama, you a genius. Do y'all see the little ghosties I was talking about in the skull? <laughs> oh, this glow in the dark. So one thing I've noticed is it has to be charged. So I do go in with my UV light a couple of times just to add that extra glow factor. But thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Mwah. Stay spooky and do all things with love.